Now to Afghanistan and the battle for control as American troops head home. The Taliban rapidly gaining ground. Half of the country's roughly 400 districts now in their hands. The U.S. is frantically processing thousands of visa requests from those who worked with American forces. Here's ABC's Julia McFarlane. Tonight, the Taliban on the march, launching fresh attacks on three Afghan cities. Militants targeting key areas like Kandahar that could be devastating for the government to lose as American troops head home. I uh, have been deeply concerned uh, by the events that have played out over the last uh, six or seven weeks. Thousands of Afghans fleeing for their lives, many lining up for passports as security deteriorates. The U.S. evacuating the first Afghan interpreters and their families who've applied for special immigrant visas out of 20,000 in total. 2,500 Afghans are to be resettled in the U.S., a small number of whom arrived in Virginia this week. Our Martha Raditz in Afghanistan last month speaking to one interpreter who was side by side with U.S. Marines in Helmand province. He says his family's lives are on the line. If they take over of the Kabul, directly they will come and they, they will behead us or will, they will kill us. Tonight, the Afghan government is fighting to keep control, but the Taliban have been gaining momentum, capturing more than half of the country's roughly 400 districts. Wit. Julia McFarlane, our thanks to you tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.